you've never seen me before hi my name is yuki and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back yeah 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 <clears throat> hey guys welcome back to another video of mine if you see me sweating it is because currently at the time that this is being filmed the air conditioning in my apartment is faulty so what is my life right now so if you see me do this i'm trying to cool down okay like <sighs> this is the worst time for this thing to happen in the summer especially like how dare you? So in today's video, I decided to do a full face of drugstore makeup. I've actually done this video previously, but I didn't like how it came out, so it never went up. However, in today's video, I decided to mix it up a little bit and add in some affordable makeup brushes. I've kind of noticed that when people do full store, full store, full face drugstore makeup looks, they tend to use like regular brushes that they always use that are kind of sort of always maybe sometimes high end today's video is sponsored by moda brushes thank you so much for sponsoring today's video keeping the bills paid and the edges laid keeping the bills paid and the edges laid and everything a okay yeah okay Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna be pulling brushes from different collections that they sent over to me let me just let you know right now this is my favorite set <laughs> I know, I know, there are only like what, five brushes in here, but fam, do you see the packaging? She is giving me opulence, she is giving me affluence, she is giving me luxury, she is giving me, how dare you speak to me in that tone? Watch your body language, ma'am. This is so me, it is glam. Oh, actually, hold on, it's six piece, six piece full face kit. This is called the Moda Metallics set. Like, can we just, <sighs> can we get into it, ma'am? Ma'am, sir. Can we get into it? I'm going on, but yeah, it's just, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna move on before, like I can sit here and talk about it. They do have other metallic sets. Like there's this emerald one, there's this pink one, and they're also like different sets of brushes that they just sent me. So I'm just gonna be pulling random brushes to do my face today. I'm gonna be doing my brows using my usual, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade black. You guys already know the drill. I use this so often. I actually need to switch up and find another, preferably drugstore micro brow pencil or something similar to this. I'm uh, actually realizing I use quite a lot of drugstore products mixed in. And then my, um, my, 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 Maybelline. Hey, Maybelline, Maybelline. My Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I use this as my brow gel. Ooh, I'm getting hot. These sweat beads are coming in. Next, I'll be using my NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This is a shader brush, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it to dot the foundation everywhere before I start blending. And I really, really like this foundation. It's actually quite comparable, or should I say comparable? I don't know, I lose track of like English words sometimes, okay? It's quite comparable to <laughs> some of my <laughs> regular like, I don't wanna say high end, but maybe mid range foundations. I'm sure this could actually probably stand up to a high end foundation in a side by side wear test. I'm gonna try that out actually, if this goes up. Actually, I'll act I'll probably do it and maybe just have it go up before this video. Crap, I was supposed to put primer on and I didn't. I had my Angel Veil primer here to put on. Oh man, sorry guys. I have failed you. I have failed you. Okay, let's go ahead and do, oh, I don't even wanna open this, it's so nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this buffer brush from this metallic set. You know I'm the queen of repurposing. I'll probably end up stuffing a whole bunch of brushes in here, like as many brushes as I can fit, just so I can be like, oh, I'm gonna reach into my luxury looking makeup kit here. Anyway, blend this out. And these brushes are super soft, you guys, uh, like no cap. Okay, can I tell you something nasty? Whatever, even if you don't want to hear it, you're going to hear it anyway. Do you see this right here? Like, I'm one of those people that if I see a hair on my chin, I will literally pick at it until it comes off. And it's causing like all these blemishes and marks on my chin. Sure enough, we have one. Okay, it's not coming off, but I'll get to it later. It's, I'm sure it's probably not good at all that I do that. And please don't sit there and act like you don't have any hair on your chin whatsoever. Like, unless you've had laser hair removal to that area, don't talk, to, don't talk about me. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people, I get cranky in the heat. Anything above like 
73, 74. Actually, no, 72, 73. Anything above that, I get so cranky. And I'm actually one of those people that, in order for me to sleep, it has to be cold. I always have my air conditioning set to 70, 69, usually 70. And then I can sleep. Like, it has to be cold for me to. And then there's this, like, contradictory thing where I also sleep with, like, my blanket. So it's like you have this heavy blanket on, but your apartment is cold. I don't know, it's just comforting. G leave me alone. <laughs> But yeah, that's just that's just what I do. That's, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my brows, and I always use the Black Opal Flawless Concealer in the shade Honey. You can get this from uh, I think Walmart. Some Walmarts have it, some don't. I'm gonna use that same shade of brush that I use because I don't think I have anything that's really like stiff enough. So I actually thought I had a drugstore eyelid primer. I'm pretty sure I have one. I just can't find it. So <laughs> instead, I'm gonna use my Black Opal Flawless Concealer in the shade honey and actually just do this. I don't remember if I ever tried this because I've used this black opal flawless concealer for so many years. I don't remember if I ever used it to like prime my eyes, but I'm gonna try it today. And I know Savannah Silver like swears by this as her eyeshadow base. I'm gonna actually use this brush from the Rainbow um, collection. For eyeshadow, I'll be using the Elf and J Kissa collection to the rescue palette. Let's start off with Paloma, which is this shade right here. Okay, never mind. I am not liking this black opal concealer as eye primer. Let's use Zuma right here and pack that onto the lid. Hopefully all goes well with this base I've got going on here. Who's next? Go, go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, I gotta stop singing that song. Sorry guys, you know, like whenever I'm doing my eyes, I have a hard time concentrating. I'm gonna go back in with um, the previous brush I was using. I love neon color. You guys know like neon color are just like a match made in heaven. Okay, I really wanna use this really interesting triangular number. So I'm gonna dip into pepper. This right here. Oh, okay. And I'm actually stamping it. I actually really like this for the outer corner, you guys. Like, it's a moment. It's 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 doing something. I, I can't quite put it into words yet, but it's doing something. I don't wanna be be without you, be without. Okay, you know what? Let me not even sing because you know what? It's sad because nowadays you can't even like sing a melody without somebody trying to copyright. I'm not even talking about putting the music on, I mean actually singing the melody. This is so perfect for stamping out the outer corner, you guys, like if you wanna apply color and just stamping it in. Again, this is the, I think the Triad Eye from the um, Moda Metallics collection. It's just, it's so precise and yet the shape of it is perfect for that outer corner. I don't know, it's just, and you can actually use it for the entire crease low key. And it's dense enough that it places a lot of product on at once. So for my concealer, you guys know I've used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind previously. This is in the shade, oh Lord, tan. I actually have another one of these, but this one's almost out. So this thing, because of me being like a little bit scared of holes, <laughs> crazy as that sounds like small holes and lots of them like in one thing like just look up trypophobia right I took off the fuzzy thing so I usually will like crank this up and then like apply it on the back of my hand or on a palette somewhere and then transfer that onto the you know areas that I want to conceal but because I was um, at the store earlier today I decided to pick up the L'Oreal infallible full wear more than concealer because I guess she's more than the concealer. We did just, yeah. This one is in the shade 415 Honey. They had 410, which was way too light for me. And I do believe 415 Honey might be, oh, I thought it would be too light, but it might be okay. They need something in between 410 and 415 because the color jump, the shade jump was a little bit fuzzy. Fun, fuzzy, funny, yuki. See, the heat is getting to my brain cells. This applicator is reminding me of a um, concealer I used to use quite religiously.
okay l'oreal no weird smell it does have a bit of a scent but it's not anything like overwhelming this is probably the most therapeutic step in the entire makeup process for me i think the ac might be fixing itself i don't know i feel like a cold breeze oh my gosh it's currently 81 degrees you guys concealer is actually legit you guys i'm starting to feel cool air like is the ac fixing itself i don't understand like why can't you just stay cold the whole time so i was not tripping no wonder i was like is the ac fixing itself because i started to feel cool air the maintenance person just came to my door and said that he already fixed it i was like what the heck because they were here yesterday so why am I talking about my air conditioning in a video? Whatever, anyway. So they were here yesterday and it was something like within the unit itself. But today he said the unit was turned off downstairs. So I'm like, what? what's going on? This doesn't make any sense. Like yesterday it was one thing, today it's a different thing. Is somebody messing with me? Because man, the God that I serve, let me not report you. Let me, somebody better not be messing with me. Like. For real, for real. Like, how can it be one thing yesterday and another thing? Like, how do you turn off the air conditioning unit downstairs? Like, what? <sighs> Whatever. So you guys already know me and this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in 35 Deep. We go back. We deep in this love thing. You know. You know. Set, set, set. Oh, this thing is so good. And you know what? When I went to the store, I don't remember if I actually checked to see if this was in stock because I should have bought another one because I am starting to run low on this one. Now, you guys know that I actually don't always use an all over setting powder for my face. So sometimes I'll just be very liberal with this um, loose finishing powder from Maybelline. And then I'll use my bronzer to actually warm up the perimeter of my face so I still get some of my color back. Let's go back to the eyes. I wanna do like um, a different set of colors to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take, ooh, let's use this one. I'm actually gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the shade Canon. Now I'm not sure how much this will last as far as pigmentation and color payoff because I don't have anything um, wet for this to adhere to down at the lower lash line. And sometimes I like using these brow brushes for the lower lash line because they're densely packed and then they also apply color quite well. Like they deposit the color precisely. I'm gonna wipe this off. For the inner corner, I'm gonna use this shade right here called Tsuki. It's T-S-U-K-I, Tsuki. Almost sounds like Yuki. Apply that right in there. Let me spray my brush, cause this eyeshadow is a little bit dry. That is so weird. I thought it would be like um, almost rose goldish in the pan, but it's actually giving off a little bit of like mm, either silverish blue. Okay, there's a shade called Firefly next to it and I'm itching <laughs> to use it. It's this beautiful shimmery yellow. Yes, Firefly. I placed that. I'm not really placing it directly on the inner corner, but like a little right above it and it's so I have this NYX Epic Ink Liner. Oh, wait a minute, this this might be a moment here. Really like it and it's, out, and it's a felt tip liner. So felt tip liners are easier for me to use because of the extra skin and you know, the situation I have there. Okay, so bronzer, right? I couldn't find a bronzer that was actually my shade, but I do have my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze and this is old, 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 old school. It's even like, the old packaging, but still have it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. The eyes are looking a little bit crazy to me right now. I'm going to blend things up a little bit. 
take this up higher at the edge. Let me actually tell you what lashes I'll be using. I'll be using these Kiss Lashes in the style Camisole. The actual packaging, I don't know what happened to it. I just, but I do remember that these are Kiss. You can look them up. The lash glue I use is INV by Kiss. It's my favorite lash glue ever. Well, so far. For blush, I picked up Milani Baked Blush in Rose, Rose, Rose Dior. I don't know, Rose Dior. And it does have like a little bit of a highlight to it. The previous Milani blush I had was, I believe, Berry Amore. To set my face, I'll be using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This brings back so many memories. I used to use this religiously, religiously on my channel two years ago, maybe. What I do like about this setting spray is that it's like small enough to still be travel size. So I actually missed that. I'll be, wow, I just, memories. Okay, for mascara, I'll be using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This is an OG. Okay, I feel like these lashes are a lot. Now I understand why I haven't really like worn them more because I don't really think they look that flattering on my eyes. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like wispy, more wispy stuff that's kind of, I don't wanna say spacey, I don't know how to explain it, but these are the Eyler and Vegas Nay ones and I feel like these really complement my eye shape and just look good on me and these not so much not not so much this is actually one of my favorite drugstore highlights it's the cover girl sculpt expert versatile cheek palette in the shade rose rush really like this the middle color specifically is what i use um that gold you see right there anyway so i'm gonna dip into this middle one here okay lots of kickback all right Okay, Yuki, Yuki! So I'm gonna use this liner brush and dip into this. You guys know I love using liner brushes for my nose and stuffs and things. I hate when people say stuffs. Like, it's not stuffs, it's stuff. I'll be using... <laughs> yes, I know it's short, <laughs> but I'll be using this NYX lip liner in the shade coffee it's well used <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> a thousand kisses from you is now worrying on. i remember when i used to just put the nyx lip liners just all over my lips and it would just come out looking so bomb my shade was natural that was a shade i loved using i'm gonna go back to this man like this is actually uh, that. So I'm gonna be using my NYX a Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. Apparently some people call it Praline as well. the sound of my sleigh I'm sorry okay so let's do this because Lord knows the minute I smile it's all over all right guys that is it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me as I did this full face drugstore makeup look using affordable brushes thank you once again to Moda brushes for sponsoring this video by the way be sure to check them out you guys like their brushes are legit soft I could sit here and literally do this all day but we're not gonna do that because I need to be productive and do other things. Um, I'll have the links you need down below in the description box. They have a ton of different stuff, you guys. They have different sets, any basically anything you need, like as far as brushes go, it's on there. So I'll have a link for you down below in the description box. What else, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's me. Also, if you are not following me on Instagram, I'm at Yuki underscore Y-O-U-K-E double Y underscore. It's right here. Check it out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I would like to see you, hopefully, in the next video. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay blessed. <laughs> Bye. Aww.